is Pause the Cat. Welcome back to another Minecraft Windows 10 Edition video. And today I will be showing you all of the different commands except for the server commands in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition and what they do. So hopefully you will find this useful and let's get started. Starting off slash question mark brings up the help page. If you add a number next to it, then you get a different help page, except that's the same one because they use one. Slash clear clears your inventory. The slash clone command allows you to copy blocks from one location to another. Yay! Nope. Oh. Slash difficulty allows you to change the difficulty of your game. Slash effect allows you to add any effect that you want to a player. For example, speed 10. Slash enchant allows you to enchant any item in your hand with any enchantment you want. Slash execute allows you to execute a certain command on someone if they're in a specific location. Except for some reason, I am immortal in this game. Slash fill allows you to fill a certain area with blocks. Slash game mode allows you to change your game mode from creative to survival, survival to creative, survival to adventure mode, etc, etc. Here we go. Slash game rule allows you to change certain game rules such as doing the daylight cycle to false or true. So now the sun will not go around in circles. The slash give command allows you to give any player a certain amount of a certain block. I chose beetroot soup. The slash help command brings up the help page, like the slash question mark command. The slash me command allows you to say something. Asterisk pause the cat hi. The slash msg or message command allows you to send a message to a certain player. Pause the cat pause the cat whispers to you. You're me. The slash replace item command allows you to put an item or replace an item that's in a container. The slash say command allows you to say something. Pause the cat hi. The slash set block command allows you to put a certain block in a certain location. The slash set world spawn allows you to change the spawn point for players in a world. The slash spawn point allows you to change the spawn point for a specific player in the world. The slash spread players command allows you to spread out players on a server specifically to different locations. The slash summon command allows you to summon a certain entity in a certain location. The slash teleport command allows you to teleport a specific player from one location to another. The slash tell command does the same thing as the slash message command. Pause the cat pause the cat whispers to you. Hi. The slash test for command allows you to find a player in a world or see if they're in a world. The slash test for block command allows you to see if a certain block is in a certain location. The slash time add command allows you to add a certain number of ticks to the world to make it, it later in the day. The slash time query command allows you to view the game time or the time of the day in the game. The time set command allows you to change the time of the day. The slash title command allows you to present text in front of a certain player. The slash toggle downfall command allows you to make it rain or to make it stop raining. Slash TP is the same thing as teleport. Slash W allows you to do the same thing as slash tell or slash message. Pause the cat, pause the cat whispers to you. Hi. Slash weather allows you to change the weather in the world. Slash XP allows you to change the number of levels a certain player has. Alright, that's it for all of the different commands in the game. I skipped the server ones because I can't really do those in this world, considering this isn't a server and I don't really have any other players in this world. So I skipped those and I just I wanted to show you what all of the different commands do in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, just to get kind of a feel for them. Um, I'll probably make another video that shows how exactly you use these commands because I didn't really go in depth. And But if you want to kind of see how they work, you can look at what I typed in. It's basically just following the prompts that it gives you and entering numbers and stuff like that. It's pretty pretty easy. Most of these commands are really useful when you're building custom worlds and they're useful for um, triggering things and, and doing stuff like that. More complicated stuff than what I did, which is like 
is. <laughs> but that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you want to see more videos like this one, do subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.